as the HVAC engineering lead. The thing I love most about my job is... HVAC is heating, ventilation and air conditioning. In this video, I'm going to share some information about what it's like to work on the HVAC side of this industry. Hi, my name's Kevin Mackey. I'm the HVAC engineering lead at Global ENC. The HVAC stands for heating, ventilation and air conditioning. And it's more about the conditions within these modules to control the ventilation, which would be like the air that's coming in, removing air, getting air changes through the, the module and controlling the heating and the, the cooling to make it a comfortable temperature to work in. So for anybody who wants to get into the HVAC industry, um, the type of things you need to think about is for this particular this square unit here and this one behind you, um, these are the AC cassettes. So you need to think about the location of them to get a good air distribution within the area. Because this is a gym, they will be specifically placed for certain bits of gym equipment. It might, if it's busier for say a bank of uh, treadmills, you'll get more heat generated um, off because it'll be busier between the machinery and the people on them. Um, so you have extra grills in the middle to pull the, the, any warm air in and the supplies are on the outer edges for just so you can get a good circulation of air. For the pipe work and any kind of cable containment, um, you need to think about routing so it doesn't like obstruct anything else and it still can tie in with other services. So for the ductwork, um, the, you'll see that one is insulated, one isn't. Um, the insulated ductwork is your supplier, so that's your, your pre-cooled air coming in. So the reason it's got the insulation is so it, can, it doesn't lose any of that cooling effect, it doesn't pick up any additional heat. So when it does come out the grills, you're getting the full cooling from that uh, HVAC system. Um, the extract doesn't necessarily need to be insulated because all that's doing is taking air out of the area to send it back out um, before it goes through the system to be con um, like reconditioned. Um, the supplier grills you see are, are slightly different. Um, these are more based on specifically for throwing the air in certain directions. Um, you'll see where they're, they're ridged um, just to give a better distribution of the air. So this will be the main control panel for the HVAC system for this gym area. Um, with a, a, a PLC based controller uh, which is, is pre-programmed at the manufacturer and when we do the factory acceptance test we will run through all the settings of the programs and we'll preset everything so when it goes offshore it will basically be like a plug and play. When the modules are put back together power supplies are hooked up, switch it on and it will be preset ready to to start working as is required for the offshore module. This is basically your, your main um, control system for all the HVAC within this area. Within the HVAC side, we'll have, like myself, who would be leading a team, attending the meetings. We may have also a project engineer who would be doing a bit, some of the, the engineering aspects of it. Then the other side of it is the guys that are actually installing this kit. And we've got uh, various technicians of different disciplines, whether it's through purely through a ventilation side or refrigeration side, who would be actually installing it and working with the, the other disciplines. We work very closely with the architectural team, the electrical team, the, the modular fabrication team who are actually building this box, we need to tell them if we need holes put in certain places for any pipe work or ducting passing through from inside the module to outside. So they, they work with the other disciplines just to, to get this, to fit everything in basically. The more useful skills in HVAC would be definitely being hands-on, being mechanically minded. There's a lot of building or, or piecing components together, but they would need to go in a certain way. You always need to be thinking on your feet whether you need to amend any pipe routing or duct routing. There can be clashes with other items within the modules, whether it's cable trays or other pipe work. Really being able to maybe reroute in some duct work and being able to piece it together. In terms of the meta skills, the Collaboration and communicating is very important. Being able to communicate with 
the other disciplines, electricians, uh, the architectural guys, for fitting out and working around each other. Communication is key for certain aspects to be done at certain times in line with the other trades. A lot of the skills are potentially transferable. There's so much different sectors opening up, uh, such as green energy, wind farms, onshore wind farms, offshore wind farms, the substations, all, all this electrical equipment, all produces heat, all needs ventilation. These areas are all interchangeable. From when you get a core set of skills, it can then go between the different industries. I would certainly say an apprenticeship scheme would be the way to go. You get the best of both worlds. You're also in a class with a lot of other guys who are the same age, going through all the same thing, and you can all basically share your experiences, learn from each other. And at the end of that apprenticeship, the world is your oyster, really, because there's so much different ways you can go. There's offshore, overseas, offshore vessels, boats, office blocks, buildings. You can gain a lot of knowledge and insight working with experienced technicians and engineers. Yes, Global and Sea offer apprenticeships. We are a really good company for, for developing young people using modern technology that young people would be familiar with. There's a great bunch of people there who are always keen to encourage and help young people learn and develop throughout the business and the industry. There's already a, a younger generation of people coming through who they are able to work together in a, a, a fun and innovative way that makes it enjoyable. There's a real drive to encourage younger people to advance through the industry. The culture of the company is where we want people to enjoy what they're doing. And to do that, it needs to be a good environment, a friendly environment, where no one is scared to ask a question. Everyone talks to each other. We help each other in any way we can, where if it's maybe somebody who's younger, newer to the company, newer to the industry, they won't have the same work and life experience of some of the older guys. Um, they, maybe, they maybe don't want to ask a question, but in simple terms, I don't think there's any such thing as a stupid question. Every question is relevant and every answer is relevant to the person asking it.